Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 29. So yesterday we created our first new opportunity, and today I'm going to show you how you can manage that opportunity by moving it from stage to stage, phase to phase, and how to archive and unarchive that opportunity. So let's dive into the opportunities applet. That's number six here, sixth one down, the handshake. And yesterday we created a cultivate opportunity for our buyer pipeline. Um, and we are going to take a look at that. So I don't know if this is the exact one we created yesterday. It doesn't really matter. But let's just say that this was a buyer that came into our command database. We made contact. They said, we're actually looking to buy, but it'll be six months or more. Great. We know that they're committed to buying. We've had a consultation with them. We've done pre-qualification. They are very interested. They just said they, they won't be moving until the first of the year, but they want to work with us. Great. I'm going to go ahead and build out the opportunity like I did yesterday and put them in the cultivate phase, the six months or more stage. Now, these are custom stages that I have created. You may see hot nurture watch, right? We talked a couple of days ago about how to customize your stage names. In order to move an opportunity from one stage to another, you'll see the six little dots here on the left-hand side. And this is where you can click and then drag the opportunity, right? You can actually click anywhere on the card, and yet they have the little dots there to kind of remind you, hey, this is an easy place to click so that you're not clicking on anything else you're not supposed to be clicking on. Um, but when I click and hold the mouse button, you'll see as soon as I go to move the card, the icon goes from an open hand to a closed fist. And I move that over to the new stage. And then when I let go of my mouse, I have now moved the opportunity card to a new stage. And I can do the same. I don't have to go one by one. I can actually jump ahead more than one. If I say, oh, something came up, they had credit issues, something like that, they're now back to you know, nurture or three to six months, whatever it may be, I can move that card back and forth between the stages. Additionally, let's say I move them from Cultivate to, hey, we actually have a full-time buyer appointment. I can move this card. You can see the icon is still a closed fist. And yet when I hover over the new phase, that icon turns to a pointed finger. Once that happens, if I let go of my mouse, I have now moved that uh, opportunity card to the first initial stage of this new phase. And so you can see now it's there. And so I can move it. Let's say, hey, I met with them. Uh, actually, they canceled the meeting. They said we're still another three months out. I can move that card backwards to cultivate. And what it's going to do is drop it in the cultivate phase at your furthest right hand stage. So just a heads up, if you have stages that go off the screen, you may need to scroll over to go find that opportunity card that you move backwards. And I can move them back to one to three or three to six. So those are the ways that you can actually move your opportunity card from stage to stage and from phase to phase. In addition, if you click on the three little dots next to the opportunity name, you can click on view details. Additionally, you can actually click on the name of the opportunity. Either way, it'll do the same exact thing. It'll open the details uh, page. We're gonna come to details in a future challenge, uh, but you can see exactly the same thing. View details opens that same page. Now archive, you see that if you click on the three dots, archive opportunity, basically that says, hey, uh, maybe this was an error. I don't need this opportunity. I created it in the wrong section. I spelled their name wrong. I duplicated it. Um, you have the ability to archive an opportunity, which would take it out of your pipeline. Now we're going to talk about lost opportunity at a future challenge. A lost opportunity is someone you thought was going to buy with you and they end up going and working with another agent. That's lost. You actually lost the right to work with them. Archive is typically for an issue or a mistake, a duplication, something like that. So if I click on archive opportunity, it'll say, are you sure? And I can archive the opportunity from there. And in the future, for any reason, I want to bring back that archived opportunity. I would just go to my settings menu and I'm going to come into command settings and then opportunity settings. And this is where you will see the opportunity archive. And so if I pull that up, here's the Donald Duck listing that we just archived. I can click on restore 
and right and that will allow me to actually then restore that uh, particular one so uh, these dates are a little bit off I'm not sure why this is showing 12 15 20 but I'm not going to worry about it too much I'm just going to click on restore and then you can see when I go back to my opportunity pipeline that opportunity should show back up so I then have the opportunity now to say all opportunities here it is back inside there's Donald Duck again and we can easily go back and work that opportunity should we need to so that's essentially how you can manage your opportunities from pipeline stage to pipeline stage pipeline phase to pipeline phase and how you can archive or unarchive a specific opportunity to have it show back up in your pipeline. Guys, that's it for today, day 29, managing your opportunity and moving it from stage to stage, face to face and archiving. Tomorrow we'll start diving into the details portion of your opportunity. Look forward to seeing you then. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much.